Do not take it so hard, Nick. Life is filled with its little miseries. Each of us, in his own way, must learn to deal with adversity in a mature and adult fashion. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second half of the Flex Semester AMP2 Lecture and Lab. This is your humble instructor, Greg Barnhill. I'm going to make this short video to kind of take you through the beginning of this. You get access to this course a week before it starts, so of course we're not starting yet, but there are assignments open if you wanted to get started, but of course you do not have to with this class. You get access to your shell early, and we'll go from there. So. Under the syllabus tab, this video is going to be right here. Let me show you a couple things first. I'm going to go, there is the textbook here. It's also, excuse me, <clears throat> it's also um, under this particular tab. So OpenStax is a free resource. You don't have to uh, buy anything. You can purchase this in the, tech, in the uh, bookstore if you wish. It's for $30 or $40. But when you click on OpenStax, it will take you to the website. And yeah, table of contents it has a lot of different things. They're downloaded as a PDF, as an app, but it's it can be free resources to you. You can click on the table of contents and you can go all the way. There's the nervous system, which was the end of AMP1. Here we go. So it actually starts there with the endocrine system, which is the beginning of AMP2. I will tell you this, uh, the um, AMP2 actually starts out quicker than AMP1. So it is a little more detailed. It's also in some ways a lot more interesting. So let me go all the way back. I get myself all the way out. So anyway, that's the textbook for this course, just to show you real quick. Now I'm going to go down to this and I'll let you read the rest of this on your own. So as far as how your grade is calculated, exams, which are the midterm and the final, they are mandatory. They're 30%. The quizzes you take each week, you have eight of those, 60%. And then lessons, what I call lessons, they're interactive. Once again, trying to get you something that's free. You can do them an unlimited amount of times to get 100. That's 10% of your grade. It's still a good chunk of your grade, though. 10% of a lecture grade is a lot. On the lab, it's 80-20. Uh, the lab exams count 80%. And the lab lessons count 20. There's actually five for AMP2. That's because there was at one point seven or excuse me, six, and one of those was involved in an unfortunate copying incident, but uh, they don't like to talk about. So it's no longer with us. So um, I accidentally copied over it, and it's now gone. And uh, here is your breakdown for the entire class. Lecture 55, the lab is 45. For a total grade of 100%, the lab and lecture in this course are combined. All right, uh, course overview, a couple of things. Uh, make sure you have either one of these browsers, either Firefox or Google Chrome. They're the download links. You might download these as well. These kind of things are almost going away, but Adobe Flash only has about two months left before it's no longer available. Please use those. And these are the free apps for class. I do use these in AMP2. They're free for you. Please download those to your phone or your personal device, whatever you're using. There are times I'll give you chances to practice with those. And then as far as an overview goes, this kind of takes you through where everything is located. I'll let you read through that on your own as well. The instructor office, I'm actually located in the academic building, 125, which is the building that's right behind the West Texas Training Center. There are my office hours. Best way to get a hold of me is that email right there. That goes directly to my phone. You can email within Blackboard. I'm gonna look at your view. So there's the email at the bottom. Here are the course messages. I do check those. I try to check those daily, but the other email goes directly to my phone. Okay, so I'm in the student view. Now let me show you under the schedule because you have a schedule for lecture and one for lab. Try to keep things as easy as possible. This is going to be a seven week semester. You see the first four weeks are not due till uh, week four 
at midnight Sunday, please check the My Grades tab over here. See, the My Grades tab has all of the due dates. It says upcoming, and it tells you right there. See, the endocrine blood, cardiovascular, it's all due November the 1st. So please check those. Um, we are doing a little bit different routine as far as some of the protocols we have to follow. So the midterm and the final exam, I'll go through that as we get through the semester. Uh, here are the locations for the lessons you're going to be doing. And then here are the locations for the quizzes. So one thing about lessons, I'm going to go real quick here to lecture, and then we'll go back to the lab. So here's what's going to look like. You have an overview, tells you a little bit about the endocrine system, and then right, what you're doing each week. Each week's going to be the same. You're going to have a lesson and a quiz. We are doing this at a faster pace, so that's that's plenty, plenty to do. Here's where you're going to get your study materials. This is the OpenStax link. If you don't want to go all the way there, so you click on that, it just comes up. That's a section out of the textbook. And then um, outlines and PowerPoints. I try to give you as much as I can. And in this case, it gave you a little extra motivation. So there's the outline we'll be using. Please bring these to class with you, the lecture and lab, this is a half online, half face-to-face -face course. So yes, we will be meeting weekly face-to-face. -face. There's a PowerPoint, and for each quiz, there is a review. And the endocrine system is fairly detailed. Okay, so that's under study materials. And then this is kind of an extra thing. And then here are the assignments. You're not required to purchase Visible Body. You can purchase this through the bookstore, or you can go directly to their website. Um, this is the link you'll have to use if you have purchased it. Uh, you go here and you have to enter your access code. It'll take you all the way out to this. And that I'm that's already I'm already in because I I looked at that earlier. But you'll have to enter your access code there. I'm gonna go back to maybe I already got lost. Let's see. Um, all right, and once again, I'm going to do your view. Sorry. But uh, the visible body, that's yet to do the invitation link. I'm trying to keep this video short. So initially, do that link, and then right here will take you directly. You just have to click on that, and you can go directly to visible body. Or you can go there. Once you go there once, you know, it'll kind of save the path to your computer. So one comment about, okay, um, your assignments. So this is going to be the assignments. Uh, it says for this unit, I might just change that to this week. So here's the lesson link. You're going to click on that. There's the late assignment policy. Oops. And then there's, uh, there's the lesson. Now, these are meant to be uh, where I got this. It says, Click the finish button on the last page. It's very important. If you don't do that, your assignment will not be submitted. Do that with every single lesson, lecture and lab. This one goes down, let's see, there's 26 pages, but every online course that's an accredited, they have what they call a mastery quiz, which is something you can do over and over again. And that's kind of where this comes from. But if you start initially, so here's the endocrine system. There's a couple of videos, uh, there's a beginning, but then here's where it actually would start. Here's some drag and drops, here's number two, and then yeah, it says keep going forward, but um, they are 26, well, 20 pages, usually 30 to 40 questions. This one happens to be 50, I believe. But if you'll read through all this, and then here are the questions you're gonna have to answer. And like I said, you can do them an unlimited amount of times. There are a couple of questions for some reason, every once in a while, I try to redo it and it says no. But you see there, I just picked random. Looks like I got two. Uh, anyway, and it says retry. So I'm gonna do that. See, look, cleared all my answers and now you can do them again. But here's very important. So here's the last page. So you scroll down, it says go to the next page. Okay, I was on. I thought I was on the last page. Here we go, 26. Don't worry about these surveys. Um, they're already down. There's the finish button. So answer all the questions. See, your score is being tallied over here. This one's worth 110 points total. So to get 100%, you need to get 110 out of 110. But there's the finish button. And you have to click that. I'm just going to turn it in, even though I didn't. There it is. Your score has been submitted. 
there's a receipt you can even have it emailed to yourself and I you know what if you and I would do that that way um, it is pretty reliable but you never know if it didn't go through then that's your proof all right uh, looks like we're done with that so those are the lessons you're going to be doing and then the other part if you noticed if you go down here under assignments it says click here for quiz over the endocrine system and uh, there are the instructions blah 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 it says this one's 20 questions there's the latest assignment policy hmm. and then uh, click down below to actually start your quiz and it'll be right there so okay all right so that ought to get you started and just look through the opening excuse me these upper tabs you're welcome to look through these uh, the quiz is not open yet. Sorry, I had a brain moment. Uh, this is the uh, this is where you're going to take it, but they're not going to open till Thursdays during class, so that's why you can't see it yet. But it will be there. And the quizzes are taken online, unfortunately, because of our COVID protocols. And I'll go right to the lab now. Let me go down here. Here's the lab schedule, and I'll make this quick. So there it is. There's going to be four lab exams. Those are in class. Well, okay. Exam one is not going to be in class, and I'll go over why that is here in a second. Here are the five lessons you're going to do. They don't start till week three. That's the first one you're going to do. But if I'm going to click on the lab tab, here's the endocrine system lab. So here's all the stuff. Here are some lab videos. Um, we use outlines as well. Once again, a little extra motivation. But I'm going to open up one of the lab outlines. There, um, there is a lab manual in the bookstore. Uh, you're not required to purchase that. You can if you wish. But this is the outline we're going to be using for the endocrine system in lab. Now, I showed you that because if you go back, there's a PowerPoint also, and then there's a review. I'm going to go over this in class as well. But lab videos go through the outline with you. They show you the pictures. Um, yeah, so here's one for, this is endocrine lab. That's the introduction. Here's the endocrine slides, the endocrine models. And then the other tab for lab is blood or hematology. Same thing. Well, there's a little bit of an overview, but here's the, um, let me move this. Well, I'll move that up. Here are the outlines. Here's the lab videos. Padlet's pretty cool. I didn't show you that under the first one. If you click on this, Padlet's a program that, see, it's going to load. It'll allow you to, you can click on these pictures. You can just open in a new window. You can make them super large like this. Look at that. It's pretty cool, actually. So that'll get you started. Uh, thank you for registering for this course and um, watch your messages this week for announcements. All right. Thank you.